Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Double deuce here. Hey, when I fired up my uh, L400 there on this frame, I had these uh, voltage reducers that I wanted to, I said I would do a video on them and show you guys. Now these things are crazy. I mean, they're, you know, for what they are, I mean, they're so easy to use. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to use them right now, actually. Now, as you see, prop this thing up here what do we do with a toy engine box there we go now I'm gonna plug them in now these things take up to 8.6 volts in okay and this is the inside and this is the outside and this is I have them set up to like you know I'm between one two and one five coming out from my glow plugs um, so Let's plug it in. I think any of you seen that. Okay, now you see how that's 1-3, right? Now, if I do this, I push this button. Okay, it shows you how much is coming in on this side. I got 7-2 coming in. And I push this button. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And I got 1-3 going out now if I want to adjust that up there's a little screw right here I know he everybody complains about my fingernails but this is sometimes how I use them so well there's a tiny 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 little screw there now when you first get these things you're gonna to have to do some cranking you're gonna to have to reverse them out you have to go counterclockwise and a f quite a few turns until you start watching the, the voltage drop um, so they're you know they're very sensitive once they start moving okay I just moved that a little bit and I'm at 1.5 now you see how that just went up from 1.3 to 1.5 because I just turned that clockwise just a hair because once you get it close to where you want you don't have to move them much and um, so these were like five of them for like 20 bucks you know and um, these work great, you know, I, I don't know, I have tried to run uh, the four glow plugs out of one and it heated up pretty good, but they give you a heat shrink that you can stick on there. And now the, uh, the in and outside, okay, I'll plug this here because I know he's having it on, but now the in and outside, they're just small little um, flathead sc screws you strip your wire, you put it in, you tighten it down. There's no soldering involved at all. Um, if you can get heat shrink tube big enough, you can cover with heat shrink tube. Um, another thing that was cool about these, um, if you see, they got these little brass mounting nuts and stuff, okay? They give you these, and I just used them to mount the two, you know, stick two together for now, you know what I mean? Uh, but you can actually use them to mount them in your build so you know like for like you say for the money i'll put a link in of where i got these um because the the regular igniters they sell for the engines the toy and engines and stuff for like you know what 15 16 bucks a piece so and you know they're big and bulky too now these are a lot bigger than the other igniters that i have went over with but they got an LED readout, so you know exactly where you are. You know exactly how many volts are coming in, you know how many are going out. And the cool thing is, is if you set it in your build, and you you could set one to the end. That way you know, because I got them all looped into one wire over here, and I got them all going out to separate wires over here. So this right here, you can monitor your LiPo. Okay, so say, you know, it's 7.2 and then all of a sudden it starts getting down there and like, you know, under three and a half volts, there's no shutoff here. It's going to keep draining it as long as you got it on. But, um, and these things produce a really nice crisp red glow out of the glow plugs. And uh, well, so usually what I do is like get them fired up, let it run a minute or two, and then I just unplug it. You could put a shutoff, like a snap switch on here, you can shut it off you want but uh just knowing how many volts are coming in and how many is going out is like you know knowledge is power when it comes to the rc world let me tell you so that's why i've showed you guys 
no soldering, no nothing. Get some wire, strip the ends, screw them in. And on the end over here, what I did for my glow plugs, I just took the wiring uh, butt connectors and I took the covering off of them. You know, some of them have a blue or a red cover. And uh, I opened them up with a screwdriver inside. And that way they slip right over and I put a little heat shrink on there. You know, I crimped them and put some heat shrink on there. That way they sat right over the glow plug. And as you, on mine, there's a cavity in the cylinder head. And I just used one zip tie to hold it to the cylinder head. And one zip tie to mount them all together. So when I put it on my L400, it just mounts on there and these don't come off. These don't move. They're, they're there forever and I looped all the grounds to one and put it over here so so far they work good and I'm gonna put these in my uh, my skyline build and you know we're gonna go from there you know with the L400 so because I do have another one coming <laughs> so there'll be another up-and-coming video I might do a build video of how to put the L400 together um, and how I did it you know um, and you know like say all the uh, directions and everything's on you know the toyandengine.com website and yeah, they're a pdf form you have to do them uh, mine was basically all in chinese so i had to keep copy and pasting and going to google translate to get you know each step down so i don't know if they've updated the website or not but when you uh you know if you do get one um i'm gonna i'm gonna have my build so you can actually see it and I'm gonna go off their um, their recommendations and directions and kind of translate them to you with hands-on stuff. So, anywho, this is Danny. I'm signing out. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend there. Um, so, like, share, subscribe if you want. And I appreciate all the support. You stay healthy and well. And I'll catch you later, man. Bye.